The second model of ISA-88 that you will get to know here is the procedural model. This hierarchical model allows you to organize the steps needed to produce a product. The top hierarchy level in a recipe procedure is called the recipe procedure. A recipe procedure runs on a process cell and describes the entire strategy used to produce a batch of a product. The recipe procedure is comprised of an ordered set of recipe unit procedures. A recipe unit procedure runs on a unit and implements a process stage. At any one time, a unit can only be allocated to one batch. A recipe unit procedure, in turn, consists of an ordered set of recipe operations, known as ROPs. Recipe operations also run on units. A recipe operation normally describes a chemical or physical conversion of the materials of a batch. The lowest hierarchy level is the recipe phase. A recipe operation consists of an ordered set of recipe phases and handles a process action. The instructions for preparing the spaghetti in our kitchen example might be as follows. The produce spaghetti instructions are mapped to the recipe procedure. The instructions for cooking the pasta or preparing the sauce are each mapped to a unit procedure, since these activities take place in different units. The steps involved in cooking the pasta, such as filling with water and adding salt and oil, are formulated in the preparation recipe operation. The steps required for filling water, heating and stirring are implemented with the recipe phases of the preparation ROP. You now have an understanding of the physical and procedural models of ISA 88. We have also presented one possible way in which our kitchen example can be structured. We will now move on to describing the integration of these two models in a SIMATIC PCS7 SIMATIC batch solution. These models are used to structure plants and process cells in SIMATIC PCS7 and SIMATIC batch. Where will you find these two models? To answer this question, let's look at a unit. The physical mapping of a process cell with its units can be done in either the plant hierarchy view or in the process object view of Sematic Manager. Among other things, Sematic Manager is used to manage all the charts and sequences used to program the automation stations. All the objects relevant to Sematic Batch are indicated in green and are available to Sematic Batch. Batch configuration data does not need to be entered a second time in Sematic Batch, eliminating a potential source of error as well as reducing the engineering effort and costs for creating and maintaining a batch application. The recipe procedures and underlying unit recipes, recipe operations, and recipe phases are formulated in Sematic Batch. In other words, the procedural model of ISA 88 is implemented in Sematic Batch.